The greatest professional athletes have the best head coaches. They're trained by the greatest on how to be the greatest. So when an athlete's career ends, why wouldn't they want to go into coaching and show these kids how to dominate like they did? Well, it hasn't always worked out. Wayne Gretzky, the best hockey player ever, sure failed as a head coach, but we're betting some athletes could succeed. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we take a look at the 10 best active athletes that would make great head coaches. And a huge shout out and thank you to Alex the Great MC for suggesting this list. Please remember to leave us your suggestions. And we do hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, feel free to click subscribe down below for more cool videos every single day. Number 10. Jonathan Taze Taze is the world's most well-rounded hockey player. He's scoring 30 goals and 60 points a season, but he's also shutting down the opposition's top opponent. He's a member of three Stanley Cup winning teams and led Team Canada to a pair of Winter Olympic gold medals. Taze became the captain of the Blackhawks at age 20 and helped them end a 49-year Stanley Cup drought in 2010. This man has all the makings of a great head coach. He leads, he scores, he defends, and all he does is win. He's made every teammate on his line better. Just imagine this man as a head coach. Number 9. Clayton Kershaw the world's most dominant pitcher is known for his virtually unhittable curveball that drives batters insane. I mean, it's pretty obvious. If Kershaw's ERA is below 2 and he's doing nothing but striking out opponents, why would he fail as a pitching coach or manager? There's no reason to believe he couldn't teach younger players how to throw a ridiculous curve like him. Number 8. LeBron James The best basketball player in the world is too darn talented that, well, nobody has ever played a game like he did. So it's not like LeBron will be able to coach a bunch of kids into becoming as good as him. But LeBron knows how to lead. He's come through in the clutch situations, and he plays dominant ball at both ends of the court. It's his basketball IQ that makes him lethal, combined with his physical gifts. It's simple. He's great. Why can't he coach others into being great? Number 7. Tom Brady Disclaimer, Brady's already said he doesn't plan on coaching when he retires. Let's just ignore that as things can change. We saw how Jimmy Garoppolo played in Tommy Terrific's absence. Brady's the winningest and possibly the greatest quarterback to ever live. This man keeps it simple. He's sharp on his throws, he doesn't turn it over, and he picks up the blitz like few others. Brady knows how to ice his veins in clutch situations and finish his mission. Brady always runs a lethal offense. He can at least be an offensive coordinator or quarterback's coach when he retires, no? Number 6. Lionel Messi The best soccer player in the world is something else. He has world-class football skills, breakaway speed, and his target accuracy is more impressive than that of an Olympic archery gold medalist. Messi's three-year-old son has already signed up to play for a Barcelona school so that he can play for the luxurious club when he's old enough. With Lionel training him, imagine the star he will be. And again, if Messi's already dominating the best soccer players in the world every game, why can't he outcoach the best coaches in the world every game? Number 5. Paul Pierce The Boston Celtics icon dominated the NBA for a decade and a half, and there's no reason to think coaching isn't in his blood. Pierce has stated in the past that he and former teammate Kevin Garnett have thought about coaching. With so much heart, experience, and championship pedigree in him, Pierce would be an ideal fit for a young, rebuilding team. We can see him taking the path of former NBA icon Jason Kidd, who's trying to help develop a youth movement in Milwaukee. Number 4. Dirk Nowitzki Dirk has been a force in the NBA for nearly two decades, even as he approaches 40. The 2007 league MVP and 2011 NBA champion has an on-court IQ that is out of this world. We're now seeing Dirk sticking around as the Mavericks try to rebuild. It's easy to see the longtime veteran stepping into a coaching role when all is said and done. He lives and breathes basketball and will probably never want to escape from it. Number 3. Demarcus Ware Ware is on his way to the Pro Football Hall of Fame someday. He's nearing 150 career sacks, is a nine-time Pro Bowler, and a Super Bowl 50 champion. Ware has terrorized opponents for over a decade and has dominated the best offensive lines that the NFL has to offer with ease. You don't often see legendary NFL defensive players go into coaching, but where supremacy and longevity makes him a great candidate to be a head coach, or a defensive coordinator, or a defensive line coach. Number 2. Carey Price He's the best goalie in the world. Price has everything you want in a goalie. He's clutch, hence the 2014 Winter Olympic gold medal for Canada. He's got a fast glove, the insanely quick reaction speed, the confidence factor, and he also makes the most ridiculous saves. You see, Price didn't learn this overnight. He had great coaches and trained himself on ice pods in British Columbia. The man has educated himself better than any other netminder. Now we're unsure if he'd take a head coaching role, but a goaltending coach role? Absolutely. And number one, Tony Parker. A bit of a surprise entry, well, Tim Duncan is ineligible for this list because he's retired. But Parker, a four-time NBA champion, is. He's 34 years old, but as he slowly gives into father time, 
it's important to note how great of a mentor he is under head coach Greg Popovich. Parker and coach Pop have developed Kawhi Leonard and LaMarcus Aldridge as the new franchise faces and superstars. There's your evidence right there. Combine that with Parker's experience, success, and the fact he's had a luxury of learning from coach Pop, you can see why Parker should and will be a great coach one day. What other pro athletes do you think would be great coaches? Join us in the comments below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.